What happened? Tell, tell everybody what happened. What'd you do? What'd you do? Mm-hmm. What? Well, what what do you do? What'd you do? I know. You scared yourself, didn't you? Listen to that purr. He has the loudest purr. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you do. Did you scare yourself? Did you try to escape and Chica was right outside the door? <laughs> and he saw Chica and he puffed up and he hissed and he ran right back into me. He did me. Hello, Miss Abby. Hi, Miss Abby. Abby loves me. It's just, it takes her a minute still. Doesn't it? She's purring, but you can't hear her over her brother. I know. He's so loud. Yes. We'll have to get sugar out of the tunnel. But, and it has been a week. They have been here a week. Um, I haven't filmed them that much. What do you do? Is that Chica under there? I know. Don't bite me. It's Chica you want to bite. No, no, no. Don't bite me. Um, but I will say, Ab uh, Sugar, Abby's come a long way too, haven't she? Yes, Abby's great. Yeah, she'll stay out. Um, she'll, she will kind of flinch a little when you pet her, but she'll climb on my lap. Yes, she will. Yes, here, you want to get on my lap? Oh gosh, they are so, these are the chunkiest kittens of their age. They are so healthy. Hello, my love. Hello. Okay. Now I gotta get your sister. I'm gonna get your sister. Come on, let's get sugar. 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 Where are you? Hello, my love. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, honey. Come here. Come here. See, she just let me pick her up. She didn't hit. show everybody how good you're doing okay well she's out and she'll come back she'll come back yes okay come on come on come on come on aren't they precious are you precious yes you are oh see i told you here she comes hi angel hi angel here come here come here oh there we go. Here we go. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay. Stay safe. No. I think it's the camera. Because normally she'll stay with me. Yes. Are you pooping your sister? Look. What are you doing? All right, I got I got distracted there while I was filming, um, because I thought, oh, they're out, they're being good. I can take 
some videos and get some pictures up because I still don't have them up for adoption. Um, because I really don't like, come here. I don't really like to do it until I'm comfortable that they're comfortable. You know what I mean? I know that probably doesn't make any sense. But I just know what I mean. Um, ow, stop biting me. Um, and Binks and Sugar, uh, Abby, this is Abby, um, I believe are fine and ready. But I was trying to give Sugar some time and then things got busy. Yes, they did. Things got busy. And so, oh, did you? Yeah, I will say, and it's really funny, because out of the three of them, um, Sugar is the shyest, but she's the loudest. Once she gets comfortable, like, she'll get comfortable eventually with me in here long enough, she haul, I mean, like, when she wants your attention, if you stop petting her, she'll holler. See? There she goes. What? Do you want pets? Do you want? I know. Tell me. She is like a true Siamese in that she will chatter and she will... You're so cute. You're so cute. Can't, no one can hear anything because you're purring. Your purr is so loud. Yes, your purr is so loud. What? What? Are they not precious? I know. I keep getting distracted. I'm supposed to be filming for um, a channel video, and I'm like, oh, they're like grouping together. They're being good. Sugar sang out. So when I go quiet, it's because I'm trying to get things that I can make still shot pictures of, and then I forget that I'm filming. <laughs> It is really early in the morning, in my defense. Um, not really that I need a defense because we all know I'm crazy. Oh, see that? It's gonna be such a good picture. Look at that. Oh, that's so dark. Once I like lighten it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, y'all are precious. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this isn't going to be like an informative video. It's just going to be a kittens being cute video. Um, sorry. so bad about disciplining them like when they're biting you're not supposed to like hand play with them like I was doing 
I just, I forget because they're just so cute. I'm not a very good foster mom some days. No. But I like my cats and kittens a little on the wild side. Yes, I do. Oh, are you getting sleepy? Are you getting sleepy? Yes, I know. Okay, well, we're gonna go because I can't remember to film like I am for a video anyway. <sighs> Patricia sent us over a ton of food and supplies. It's not all here. I did try to keep a list um, of stuff that's not here. However, um, Patricia, I'm so sorry, but I mean, you know how I am. And it's wonderful that it's been used. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry. Okay. One thing, okay, she sent over two bags of the kitten formula, uh, the Purina one, and two bags of the uh, adult Purina one that I feed. Um, those two bags are not here because I put them in a big, huge, airtight container. Um, that's what the, the other food goes in uh, for a couple different reasons. And I couldn't leave the bags out uh, that long. Same thing with the other bag of the kitten. It goes in an airtight container. That one's not as big, so it doesn't fit two bags. Um, so this one has been opened. Um, and then I believe there were only two bags. Only. That sounds terrible. There were wonderfully two ba big, huge bags of the yesterday's news. I could be wrong about that. This one is open and then there's a whole not open one back there also if you see flies excuse the flies I had the door open for quite a while carrying in supplies um, it's just easier that way and then in just a little bit I will take care of the flies but I can't do it right now because I'm filming so okay let's get on with what Patricia sent Okay, besides the stuff I mentioned, because I, I wanted to mention that first because I really do think there's stuff missing from that. Um, however, I remember when it got here, I was real excited. I was like, oh, and I put it away so none of the other animals could get into it. she especially has a habit of breaking open bags and it going everywhere. I love her, but oof. Okay, now, she sent over three boxes of the baby wipes um i've said it before baby wipes were so hard to find after march um they just they were i, I mean there was a point i didn't have baby wipes i probably for several weeks and it was oh my gosh it was terrible um so i was really excited to be able to stock up on these um i do have bottle babies at the moment that's when i really use them oh i was so happy then she sent um some food two cases of the poultry platter which actually i didn't know was in it came in two huge boxes and i just unpacked the box and the only reason those have not been open is they were under the baby wipes and i didn't see them so which is good, because now I have two full cases of poultry bladder. She also sent over a box of the Friskies poultry um, that has different types of poultry in it. Uh, it's empty, though. Uh, we went through that quickly. She sent over a Tower of Tracks toy, which um, is open and in one of the rooms. I don't know which room it's in. But it's in one of the rooms. And then a big pack of fuzzy balls, which I'm out of. I can't believe I ran out of them. Um, but these, sometimes they last a while and then sometimes not. Um, because they get dunked in water bowls. They get taken and buried in litter boxes. They get just trashed all accidentally. Um, wash them and the, all the little fuzzy bits will come off. 
So, very excited for these because these are one of the baby's favorites. And then she sent a, I really, I'm excited about this. Okay, here is why. Sometimes it is really difficult, especially on bedding days, to get all the hard carriers. Like if they're getting spayed and neutered, they have to be in a hard carrier. However, if they're doing anything else, like having a fecal, blood work, da 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 they don't have to be in a hard carrier. So, when I'm taking a bunch, because there's some days I take eight, 10, you know, because remember I have cats everywhere, not just here. <laughs> there's cats other places. I like the soft side ones. Um, they're more comfortable for the the cat sometimes, not all the time. And then also they're easier um, to load. Um, so I was very excited about this because I do have one black soft sided um, and now I have this one. So I was very happy about that. And then I'm also, uh, that's an empty box, but it had a K&H pet bed warmer in it. Uh, for some reason, I had four of these, and for some reason, two of them have start, stopped working. Of course, I've had them for years, and when they're plugged in, like if it's for babies, you know, they're, they're on constantly for several weeks. And I do check them a lot to make sure they're still working and there's, there's no holes or tears or whatever. So I was down... And I know it sound too probably sounds like a lot, but not when you got babies, too. <laughs> so I was very excited to see this. And then she sent over some cap action. It's same as Capstar. It's all the same active ingredient. Um, it is just the flea pill I give when they first come in, and then I use either Revolution Plus or Advantage Multi, depending on what I have and the age and a bunch of different stuff. But this is a very quick acting flea killer. Um, so you can start killing them while their preventative is kicking in. And then, okay, I feel like I'm going to the dark side with this. Everyone in foster, or a lot of people in the type of fostering I do, um, uses this. It's rescue. Um... And it kills everything, including coccidia. Everything I have, I do have a, you know, that Smart Clean. Okay, that's heavy. Sorry. That Smart Clean that I use, I love. However, I can't prove it kills coccidia. And I have had a coccidia outbreak, and it makes me nervous. Uh, because diarrhea for babies, you know, it can be deadly. So, I am going to break down and use Rescue as well when I know we have a coccidia outbreak. Um, it is harsher and you do have to, you have to be a lot more careful when you use it because the babies cannot come in contact with it in any way, shape, or form. Um, that just always makes me nervous. That's why I like the Smart Clean. Uh, but, you know, it, I, you know, it's either them get coccidia or them having to stay out of the room you know, for a while. So, anyway, I am happy to see this, uh, and, because I do know it where, I mean, it has been proven to kill coccidia, and that is, that's my goal. That's what I want. So, that is great. And then, I think this is it. Um, then, she sent my very, very favorite hand cream. Um, my hands, oh, you, I can't even tell you what my hands look like. It's terrible. They hurt all the time. Um, and that was before COVID. So, um, and this, I really recommend, uh, it, it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, it really, um, nourishes your hands without being like greasy, sticky. Like it doesn't stay on your skin for a long time. And it really works to like nourish you know, like if your hands are hurting, you know how they get, they just hurt. Um, I, I really like this stuff. And I really like that it does have a light smell, but it's not overwhelming and it's a nicer smell. Um, so, I was so happy about that because I was out. Um, so, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Patricia. Um, I'm sorry, a lot of it has been open and used, but... Everyone should be used to that by now. Um, thank you so much.